to Jelly Talks episode 6. And today, hi Miss uh, Miss Bernadette. I first let me introduce myself. I'm Mika, program consultant of Jellyfish Adaptation Philippines. Yes, hello, good afternoon, Kanichiwa. I'm Maria Bernadette Lagodo, or you can call me Bernadette. But that bats, and I'm the sales director. And thank you, Ate Mix. Actually, this is our first time to be together. First in time, ba? <laughs> yes. Because we're always the alpha, the partner <laughs> in the episode, uh, different episodes. Yes. But how are you? How are you? Okay naman ako, Miss Bernadette. Masyado, ano na, medyo may, ano na ako, Christmas spirit na. Kasi kahit saan ako pumunta yeah. lagi, <laughs> lahat Christmas songs na yung naririnig ko. Yes, actually, yes. when September 1 uh, started, I mean, everywhere, no? May, may Christmas, ano yes. na, songs, Christmas decoration. So, you can really feel, most especially here in the Philippines, na talagang Christmas season na. It feels like it's already December. So, ganun kaaga tayo yes. once that. Great. And uh, well, ganun talaga tayo mga Pinoy. We really love Christmas. So yes. uh, actually, at the mix, no, um, I- I'm really excited this afternoon. Because aside from we're going to like talk to a new student, we're going to discuss a new topic. Yes. And definitely, um, there will be a lot of information, important information that we're going to discuss na masyashare natin to everyone, to all our Jelly Talks listeners. Yes. no. Yeah and viewers at the same time kasi napapanood rin nila tayo sa ating YouTube channel. And for those who are not yet subscribing to our YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe para every time na may episode uh, tayo, no? Yes, mapapanood nyo agad-agad, no? So, kamusta naman ating mix? Kasi right now, di ba, actually, ang yes. good news sa Jellyfish natin, sa sales and documentation team, we were able to get the results of our October yes. 2020 oh, students okay. recently. And of yes, course, we are okay. very happy yes. to say na mataas yung approval rate natin for October. We were able to get uh, a yes. high percentage. Right. No? So, kamusta ati Miss? Kasi October 2023 batch is the first batch of students na nahandle right. oh, talaga no? for COVID-19. Yes. Okay. So, how was okay. the experience and feeling? Actually, yeah, how, how's it? Parang August pa lang before mag... Yung before yung results. Sin- sobrang ano pa iba pala yung kaba pag alam mo meron na, na meron mm-hmm. na ako student kasi talagang kumbaga nakilala ko sila right from dun sa assessment and then yung sa pag sa contract pati yung sa buong process pag coordinate kasama ni documentation di kasama ko sila eh so kumbaga meron na din talagang parang attachment na rin na parang yes. ako mismo yung results <laughs> aking results talaga yun kaya nung lahat ng students ko naman yung first batch ko lahat sila pumasa so parang ang saya nung saya pala sa pagkakaroon yes. so parang hindi siya personal sa akin na ako mismo pero dahil mm-hmm. student sila parang yung saya na sa akin ano lang doon mm-hmm. ko talaga yung saya and excitement Yes, parang feeling mo student. <laughs> yes, <laughs> parang you can feel sama, their happiness. <laughs> yes, you can also feel their happiness when they receive mm-hmm. the news na, oh, you're approved. Oh, okay, ah, I'm so yes. happy. It's a very fulfilling <laughs> na uh, pakiramdam yes. no, sa mga consultants, uh, most especially like you na first time to to handle mm-hmm. a batch. And speaking of uh, students or mga approved students, syempre, meron tayong mga aspiring applicants uh, who would yes. like to study Japanese language I would like to go to Japan uh, for different reasons. And that's why we are here, no? Siyempre, kasi meron tayong in-invite na student rin natin before. Yes. Actually, I'm very yes. happy because this is not the first time that she said yes to uh, one of our events. Kasi even before, she's always like game, uh, events orientation, no? Sa mga testimonials or webinars, no? And she's always ready to share her experiences and her own stories. Story. So, sino ba tong uh, student na sinasabi ko at the mix? Kasi yes. I'm excited. Actually, and for <laughs> sure, you're super excited. excited. Mm-hmm. Yes, kasi for sure, maraming 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 siyang masyashare sa mga aspirant nating students. Kasi as a student din talaga siya, naranasan niya first hand. So, yung mga may bibigay niya comments and experiences, talagang galing naramdaman na niya, na experience niya talaga. Kaya, without further ado, um, we welcome Miss KM Kalimoso. Um, July 2018, Aoyama students. Hi, Miss Kayen. Yes. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, I'm 
muna nating sasabihin, syempre, thank you. Thank you, Miss Ann, you. <laughs> for being here with us this afternoon. As you know, most of our students are really busy um, studying or working or, I mean, they are doing a lot of things in Japan. So, for saying yes, again, yes. Uh, for, it's, a big, it's a big deal for us. So, thank you so much. And, syempre, we are looking forward for the details that you're going to share with us this afternoon. Tama, Timmy? Yes. yes. But first, Miss Kim, mm-hmm. kamusta kayo dyan sa Japan? <laughs> first yes. off, it's an honor and pleasure to, you know, go back to Jellyfish. And, you know, you guys helped me so much with my Japan journey. So, thank you so much. Pwede ko po makakalimutan yung help po na ginagawa. <laughs> thank you po. During, that was way back 2017. Wow. That was like, Wow, six years Almost ago. Almost six years ago. <laughs> Almost six good. years ago. Wow. Okay. Sobra. Thank you so much. Well, I'm good. Um, I'm currently on off on the day off, and I'm working full time. By the way, um, to introduce myself, my name is KM Kalimoso, originally from um Kaloocan, Metro Manila. So, but recently we transferred to Quezon City and then wow Metro Manila so yeah mm-hmm. and then I'm now 36 years old but I came to Japan um when I was 30 years old so yeah years. yes and uh I'm a teacher by profession and I'm also a practicing teacher here in Japan oh so it's wow. nice to hear that you're you were a teacher here in the Philippines way back 2007 and now you're still doing the same thing so same industry yes so yeah. at least you're, you're still <laughs> doing what you love to do correct yes yes, yes definitely oh, okay. I see and it's nice that you are working na po Miss KM I mean definitely. for how many years na po tayo work um I graduated from uh, Aoyama um that's the language school um mm-hmm. na enroll ko when, uh, in Tokyo so after one year um nagpunta ako ng Okinawa so mm-hmm. i was employed for two and a half years i taught in an international school so blessed lang po na na employed po tayo agad right after graduation oh i see and that's nice to hear yes. yeah so uh, by the way do you have other Sorry. questions <laughs> Yes, successful <laughs> ang isa sa mga student natin. Yes. So, um, you are in Japan na for how many years na including yung sa language course? Kasi you um, study, did you study for one year, Miss KM? Yes po, one year lang ah, po. One year. February 2018, I graduated mm-hmm. December 2018. Um, altogether, five years. Five oh, five years. years. So, so, so far, kamus na experience for five years. Are you enjoying? Or, syempre, may mga challenges din along the way. So, how's the uh, stay for five years in Japan? Wow. Um, I would say that, um, well, living in, living abroad is, like, challenging enough. Let alone mm-hmm. someone who's living alone. So I've been by myself all of these five years. And I would say that the things that I have experienced, you know, in the five years all, all in the five years altogether, Hindi siya comparable than an experience ko when I was in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. So of course there's a lot of challenges, there's a lot of things that going on. There's so many things that went on going on currently but altogether it was fun you know um na encourage ako to go from my comfort zone to courage zone so i guess mm-hmm. the big message was you know the courage zone japan is my second home at the same time my courage zone so yun po sa courage yeah. zone <laughs> i love it Definitely. Definitely. i love it so your second home and courage <laughs> zone yes yes <laughs> So for our viewers, baka maging ganun din. No? Second home, encourage zone ang Japan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. syempre, we invited Miss KM to share her experiences and to mm-hmm. give us the important information that will be very beneficial for our viewers, viewers or listeners. So, Ate Mix, um, ano yung una nating tanong kay Miss KM for, for uh, this Ay, episode? Yes, Kaya, ang una kong gusto kong malaman is how did the Japan dream start it? Kasi siyempre lahat talaga, meron talagang pag sinimula. Kumagay yung mga viewers natin, andun sila sa stage ngayon. 
Kung baga makaka-relate din talaga sila. Na parang yes. doon sila sa current stage na yun. Kung paano ko nag-start yung Japan day. Definitely, definitely. Yes. So, I was really a big J-drama Johnny's <laughs> fan when I was really young. So, makasabayan ko yung Arashi, mm-hmm. Yakashi, Hapto, ah, yan. Yung mga sobrang, yan yung mga pinagpupuyatan ko when I was younger. And then, that developed. And by the way, um, I got into teaching because of the J-drama Gokusen. Hmm. Okay. Yes. So, that's actually like um a fun fact about myself. Mm-hmm. And then, from there, um I realized that it took me 10 years to make that into completion pero it's a full circle moment for me na i just i was just inspired by um a school drama and then now i'm actually teaching in japan yan po so yeah that was like university days i guess Yes po, Matsumoto yeah, June. June. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah. parang uh, you were inspired by a school by a school drama and you imagine yourself drama. like yeah. student as well like studying in Japan. Am I correct, Ms. KM? Actually, mas naisip ko na what if I'm actually the one who's doing the role. And, you know, the, ah. the role. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, so, main yes. character pala nung... Uh, yes, the main character. Sorry, no, parang may video so cool. date by mga students. Yeah, tadang the Miss Kayan. Tapos yung teacher, yung talagang parang naging role model nila. That's right, that's right, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was just okay. so inspiring, yeah. Like my banner yes. drama that time. Ganun. Oh, so, really interesting, no? Kasi our students, whenever we ask them, I mean, different reasons talaga why they want to go to Japan or how... Uh, their dreams started because some yeah. of them they visited the Japan for the first time they fell yes. in love eventually or means mm-hmm. naman sila they are really into uh, anime and okay. they uh, they are really uh, into language no learning the language so iba iba din ang reason so it's good to know that Miss KM started with this drama and yes. then yung interest yes. no nag dun nag start so malay natin for our viewers dun din no minsan may interest na pala sila but they are uh, parang discovering it pa lang na okay what I'm gonna do I, I want to study or I want to go there and uh, syempre no um, when you started na ah, okay I have this interest I want to go there I want to learn their language uh, what's the first thing that uh, parang pumasok po sa isip nyo na okay ano kayang pwede kong gawin um, para mangyari yon yung mga parang ina na aspire nyo po or dinidream nyo na okay I want to study there and I want to go there like soon so what what are the things that you do um or what are the things that uh you did nung time na yun okay so to be honest later on habang nag habang lumalaki na ako syempre naging adult na tayo hindi mm. na tayo sobrang J-drama fan like before uh-huh. and then medyo nag mellow na yung dream na talagang pumunta ng Japan as a working person or you know as an overseas worker so um well for travel of course i'm so interested pero that time kasi i was working with the public school industry um in Quezon City and then i'm doing masters and then um the idea ignited um, around the time na kakagraduate ko lang ng masters and then you know typically kasi when you are when you are, you know, a go-getter, you're trying to tick off everything in your bucket list na parang, oh, I just graduated master's, so what's next? What's next for me? Anong gusto ko nang gawin? And then, um, I was doing this online, um, online English teaching with Japanese adults. And then, during the conversation, uy, ano, um, nakapunta na ako ng Cebu. I mean, I want to go there again, ganyan, ganyan. So, Oh, and then I want to go to Japan as well. So parang doon lang ulit na rekindle mm-hmm. yung kagustuhan ko na mapunta sa si Japan. Mm-hmm. That started way in the past, like really way in the past. And then from there, doon ako nagkaroon ng idea to why not um do something about it, make it possible by actually typing in study and work in Japan. Uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> in okay. Google. Google, okay. Yeah. Google is the key. Google is the key. And then from there, dun pa nakilala si Jellyfish and the rest Jellyfish. is history. 
Oh, okay, thank you, Google. <laughs> yes, <po. laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the story on how uh, you found Jellyfish Education Philippines. Okay, and that was year 2017. Correct? Specifically July. July. Uh, July. What, which was interesting because it, it's really still like vivid in my um in my mind na nag in ako i mean I, well i registered i mean sa isa sa mga orientation niyo thursday meron kayong <laughs> friday sa inyong tanda-tanda um, bus uh, kay up talaga <laughs> so then i um friday saturday so like two days and then sakto available ako ng saturday na yon so it was like really a great timing yes a great timing i would say Yes. Wow. So, talagang tumug malahat nag-align lahat ng stars. Like mo. align. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, nag-align lahat. Align then lahat. from there po naging yung can you tell us naman po yung naging parang um, relationship then. Yung pagbigay naging process niyo with Jellyfish naman. Kung paano nakatulong si Jellyfish in achieving your Japan dream. Mm. Well, um Jellyfish really helped me takatauhan ni Miss Alpha. She's so <laughs> so helpful to me i would say and um talagang back and forth in communication namin talagang tinetext niya ako um she made me feel that i'm uh, she's a friend na parang mm-hmm. hindi lang to very transactional may may mga times pa na kin- al- natatandaan ko kinakamusta niya ako with just anything <laughs> alam mo yon and then i felt that oh this person can be relied on na parang tr- ano, I, this person can be trustworthy because you know um, the entire process of applying um, to Japan as a student is very tedious mm. well all together and you all know that yes. <laughs> we all yeah. know that so you know um, and it's very daunting because it's my first time you know I haven't been abroad anywhere so parang mm. Japan wow parang first um can, first world country aga developed country aga mm-hmm. so parang wala pang tatak yung passport kung parang ganon so uh-huh. I've been um, intimidated during that time but miss alpha really helped me during the process and she was really the person uh, very hands on and yeah i really owe her a lot so yeah just really de- detailing these things parang biglang ano bumalik yung mga lahat ng alaala ko ng back and forth sa tech tight building <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. yes. Grabe, grabe okay well anyway wow. shout out to Miss Alpha thank Alpha. you so much ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, si si uh, Miss Alpha is one of our consultants talaga and uh, she was able to handle a lot of students there and one of the students I see Miss KM no? so yes. thank you Miss Alpha you oh. did a great job <laughs> yes, I'm very proud si Miss Alpha sa Miss KM lagi ka yung yes. binabanggit sa amin <laughs> Actually, yeah. actually, medyo ano lang ako. Uh, medyo maalala ko lang. Um, during the paperwork that we're doing, um, sit, the sit-down thing na parang may binanggit siya sa akin na pre-officize niya na parang I'll be successful one day. And that time, looking back, it, it didn't make sense to me. Mm. Pero now, she was like really prophesied na, hey, Maybe that's possible, and you know I claimed it. So, wow, siguro very powerful and unique words na sa akin before. Oh, and, uh, yes. I'm still here, and yeah, planning to stay here for long term. Yeah. Mm, so Miss Alpha manifested that you'll yes, be successful na even before pa, no? Yes. <laughs> During application pa lang. And it happened. You are now yes. currently, you already finished the language course and you're, I, I can say that you are now a successful uh, student uh, of Jellyfish Philippines. So, thank you so much, Miss yes. Gayam. Congratulations. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Great job. Thank yes. you, Pa. And actually, that's one uh, of our goals. I mean, um, there are a lot mm-hmm. of companies and agencies offering um, services like ours. And of course, we want to provide a good customer service to everyone. We want to uh, assist them all throughout the application process from the assessment up to the last step. And of course, it's our happiness and uh, it's our achievement as well to see our students succeed 
in Japan. So we are grateful um, and we are very happy to hear some stories uh, like your story, Miss KM. So that's why we are also inspired <laughs> to, to do better. Yes, we are inspired to do better and to help more students who would yes. like to go to Japan. Okay, so I think it's uh, other questions for Miss KM. Yes, oh. yes so kasi yung batch niya, Miss KM, was January. Right, 2018. 2018. Then first, yeah. 2018, then first time you mag abroad, a eh, winter. No, so how much the Wow. It was crazy. It was yeah, crazy. Yung weather, yung so, coming from a 24 degree <laughs> Celsius in Manila mm-hmm. down to 5 degrees, it was really crazy. And, you know, all you want is to just stay home. You know, magba- magbalot ng makapan, maton at kumot. And, you know, just blast on the heater. Pero, yeah, um, actually, one of the um, culture shocks that I have encountered was number one, language. Number two, mm-hmm. weather. Weather. Ano eh, parang extreme eh, di ba? Extreme. Pilipinas, mainit. And then, Japan, winter, di ba? And that's the height of the winter. Yeah. season so um mm. and the transport system yeah so, yes. like, lrt na linear walang mm. transfer pagdating wow tokyo metro ano to metro is considered to be one of the most complicated transport yes. but efficient transport yes. Yes. In the efficient. Road. Like, wow and it took me one month it took me really one month to just work my way around. Aminado ako na wala ako nun. Kaya I was like, oh, hindi tayo maging mahiwalay. Pero <laughs> you know, it's really a story to tell. <laughs> mm. Ano ako na wala sa Tokyo Metro nun. But anyway, yeah. Parang winter. <laughs> yeah, winter. It was really okay. cold. Ganun. First snow. Oh, wow. Jenner. Ah, first snow. Ah, next snow na Miss KM. Yes, well, first snow po namin. Yeah. I see. So, pero pero sa... Six, ano, sa first week siguro, ano, talagang grabe yung pag... yung pag-adapt. Talagang... Adjust. Ba, mm-hmm. pati, oh, adjust adjust talaga. Lalo sa katawan. Kasi iba din talaga yung lamig. Nila, We're so busy at the same time. We're um, doing the legwork for government mm-hmm. um, IDs. We're um, applying for um, bank um, accounts. Um, what else? Phone, phone numbers. So we're doing all of the legwork at the same time. So yeah, and daming concerns. Bukod pa sa weather, kung paano mo titimplahin yung hot and cold water. <laughs> and, then, and also how to figure out where to buy stuff. Ganon. Mm-hmm. So I would say first, the first month was the, uh, I would say the most challenging. I would say, of course, and that's mm-hmm. perfect. And I see. But uh, could you please bring us back uh, when you were still a student, when you started uh, nasa Aoyama? So, how was the feeling? I mean, first day of class, syempre mixed emotions and different nationalities, syempre yes. wala pang kakilala, new culture, yes. new environment. So, how was the feeling during that time as a new student and most especially that it was your first time to be away from your family? That's right, that's right. So, um, remember that I came to Japan as a third year old. So, mm-hmm. I feel that I'm on the, the, yung, yung, medyo, ano na, senior na sa class. <laughs> and, okay. and I have to admit that it got me intimidated because I realized that a lot of my classmates were like straight out of college or straight out of university, my twenties. So I thought, but I'm, I wasn't the eldest. I wasn't the oldest um, student that time. Pero it was so amazing that um, it was really my first time, you know, having a pool of different people coming from different nationalities. And um, one realization is that despite being Asians, we are still different in a lot mm-hmm. of aspects. Kahit na magkakakarating bansa tayo, like South yes. Asians, we're still different. And, you know, just uh, talking to each other, a lot of them doesn't know English. So we use um, Google Translate for the most part. You know, we get to, you know, just 
be uh, you know j- parang mas ma-introduce pa namin yung isa't isa and then uh, yan ang makilala pa rin namin yung iba't ibang culture so i i guess that's one of the most interesting part sa isang multicultural multi-lang ano multinational class Yeah. Mm, I see. Very challenging, but at least you're able to build connections and relationships with with your yes. classmates, oh. and you gain new friends as well. Yes. Correct. Yes. 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 And and that, yes. that, that I think that is something na, di ba? Magandang may experience natin as a student, friend. Yes. So, um, sure, no. Uh, may mga pina na encounter yung po kayong uh, difficulties and challenges. So. What do you think was the most difficult moment or time that you experienced when you were still a student that you can also share to viewers na possible ring ma-experience nila or ma-encounter soon kapag naging estudyante rin sila? Definitely number one would be um, time management. Um, when you started to get uh, part-time jobs, um, it's a challenge to really balance everything and I have to admit that, you know, being a student and working at the same time was the busiest moment that I ever had ever. And um, no, uh, and also, not to um, not to really discourage a lot of people who want to study Japanese, but it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of uh, grip. It takes a lot of perseverance to actually master Japanese. So, kailangan to begin with, you really want to embrace the language. Para pagpunta mo dito, alam mo na nandito ka para mag-aral ng Japanese. Yeah. Yes, I think it's very important that you have a certain goal. Yes. And that right. will um, remind. I mean, if you have a certain goal, sure, you'll be reminded that okay, why why I'm doing this in the yes. first place? Why am I here? So important, yeah. And that's one thing that we always ask to our applicants: What's your goal? Why do you want to study? Why do you want to go there? Because if you don't have the goal, I mean, what's the reason why you're doing all of this and all of that? Mm-hmm. So it's it's very important. So I think yun yung meron din kayo Miss KM ever since when you started your application. So I think do you want to add something or do you want to ask something to Miss KM? Yes, yeah, so other than yung sa kasi multicultural. Kasi pag actually yung masaya naman sa multicultural, pati yung culture nila ma para ma natututunan. So para mm-hmm. another window. Kumbaga, parang perspective na iba naman. So talaga masaya mm-hmm. din yung may mga foreign na students and mga foreign friends. Then, po, ano pa po yung ibang naging challenges as a student? Kunwari po yung sa school, misa, yung education, mm-hmm. yung iba yung teaching style ba po sa Philippines kesa sa Japan? Definitely, it's different. Um, I think it's across the board, pero teacher-led din kasi masyado yung mm-hmm. um, classroom setup. So, walang group um, opportunities for group collaborations. Mm-hmm. Walang masyadong um, performance outputs. It's mostly lecture type. So, um, that, um, it's something that it's not for everyone. That is why kailangan mo pa rin magkaroon ng supplemental um, studying. Magkaroon ka ng supplemental things that you have to do para mas ma-reach mo yung grade requirement ng school. So, yun din yung isa sa mga considerations on the side and also since we are now on the topic of being in a multicultural stuff since a lot of them can speak in English you you will be required to talk to them in Japanese so yes. yeah mm-hmm. it's like going back mika usapan in in Japanese in short yeah so and, and attendance is very important as well attendance is very important that's right okay. i can yeah in fact <laughs> Aoyama, Mm-hmm. Aoyama doesn't give out diplomas to students mm-hmm. who didn't reach the attendance um, percentage requirement. So yeah, that's for Aoyama. I see. So of course you've been through a lot, and uh, 
good thing that now you successfully finished the language course. You are now working. And uh, for sure, your story is really inspiring, especially to everyone who would like to study Japanese language also, who would like to work in Japan uh, soon. So what are the tips or things that you can um, share to our viewers or listeners um, na pwede nilang mabaon or, or magamit din? If they are interested to inquire or apply anytime soon, uh, same with the uh, same with the study in Japan program. So, do you have like any tips po or important reminders to to everyone who are in, uh, as, uh, who are uh, no, aspiring uh, students then sa future? No. Okay. So, number one is to know your purpose. Um, we discussed it earlier. Yung goals. Kailangan may compelling purpose ka as to why you're going here to Japan and based from my observation a lot of students who um parang trinabaho nila yung pagpunta nila sa Japan by themselves sila yung nagsistay as opposed to ibang tao yung nag uh, fund ng kanilang schooling so parang napapansin ko lang na mas may perseverance yung mga tao na talagang trinabaho nila yung <laughs> yung ano nila dito, yung slot nila dito sa Japan. So, yes, that's number one. You really have to have a compelling purpose. Number two is, this is very practical, but you have to have like extra savings with you. This is very practical, not to intimidate a lot of people, but, you know, Japan in itself is not a cheap country to begin with, to live, mm-hmm. to live with. So, medyo magastos siya. So, medyo kailangan mo rin ng emergency blanket in terms of finances. Um, number three is uh, you have to have accountability people around you. So choose you have to have uh, you have to choose people na kailangan mong makasama throughout your student life journey that's very important that's actually how i survived at the same time <laughs> and um yeah i actually want to suggest this pero um if i will be um going back to the 2017 I would be writing a letter to myself. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. And, and what would you write? Uh, oh, like, okay. So definitely, it's a letter to myself. I would be describing my life in July 2017. And bakit ako nag apply to Japan? Bakit ako nandito sa Jellyfish? And ano yung mga bagay na gusto kong gawin when I will, I'll be in Japan? And uh, they describe ko lang. Um, it's like a narrative. And then, dadaling ko siya sa Japan. Pagka mga times na, <laughs> pag mga times na struggling. Nalungkot na. <laughs> Malungkot. Babasahin ko yon. And then, I'll be reminded. It's, it will be alright. <laughs> it will be alright. Because, to be honest, it's really easy to just give up altogether. Pero, you know, um, you didn't go this far only to come this far. Alam mo yun, the, you know, God has for you, the universe has for you that, you know, um, just keep on going. Ganon. And, um, yeah, so there'll be things like mahirapan kang bumili ng food kasi it's all written in Japanese pero ngayon, we have technology so you can use Google Translate Mm-hmm. Um, as for the the transport system, you can figure that out later on. Mm-hmm. Um, and how to budget, yeah, no, it will be alright. Magi- just give yourself like six months, makakaano ka na rin naman eh. So, may mga bagay na talagang sa umpisa lang din talaga challenging. Pero later on, you're going to figure it out. Siguro ang pinaka mahirap lang din is yung mga times na nagkasakit ka. And of course, mm-hmm. you can just rely on anyone para alagaan ka and all. So you really have to take care of yourself to begin. Know your body. You know, kung 
na expose ka into something of course you have to take medicines and all so you have to take precautionary precautionary measures na to begin with yeah I see. So to summarize, Miss yes. KM, um, you, uh, basically the tips or reminders that we would like to share. Number one is the purpose or goal. It's very important. I mean, students must have their reason why they want to to go there in the first place. Because yes. I think um, Japan or Japanese language is not for everyone. I mean, you need to be passionate about learning. You need to be motivated to do it. Yeah. And number two is, of course, the money or budget. It's very yeah. important that you have enough savings for this yes, 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 or yes, for yes. this uh, kind of application. And of course, um, we we're not gonna deny that there are a lot of fees and requirements involved <laughs> uh, for yeah. this application. And uh, of course, the application is not easy, so you really have to go through a lot of difficulties along the way. And you need to um, be surrounded with good people, people that you can really trust, most yes. especially so that yes. you are in a different country. And uh, of course, everything is new, so you need to... to to be careful on giving your trust, most especially to the people that you are surrounded with. And also, I think um, you mentioned a letter, that you're going to write a letter to yourself. Maybe uh, that is something that maybe our students or applicants can can do something or can uh, create something that will remind them um, about how motivated sila and how inspired sila to... to, to, ano, to to keep going because for sure like what Ms. KM said there will be times that you'll be sad <laughs> na parang oh you lose that okay. motivation you lose the kick yeah okay. and so you just need the motivation ka, so parang sometimes it's good that aside from the family that you can talk to I mean there's something or maybe you can do something na magpaparemind sa'yo na ah, okay kaya nga pala ako nandito because I have this plan and all and then of course help Health is very important, so they always need to prioritize their physical, mental, and emotional health. And uh, yung na mention niya rin kanina na, yes, things will be difficult at first, but definitely students will be all right later on. So very, very important. So actually, sobrang ganda ng mga na mention ni Miss KM and and na uh, <laughs> yes. and for sure very helpful yon to our viewers and listeners. Mm-hmm. So Ati Nixie, you want to add something? I think why sa din sa inanod yes po. Yes. I think yung talaga sa business po sa sinabi din ni Miss K, my important is yung meron kang kumagang panghahawakan. Mm-hmm. Para this right. time exactly. na talagang kumbaga meron at meron kasi talagang time eh na ma-homesick ka, <laughs> mahihirap ka. Yes. Kung lalo kung mar- comfortable yung buhay sa Philippines before. Kumbaga yes. meron at meron talagang times na madadown ka talaga eh. Minsan That's walang dahilan madadown ka lang. So I think talaga import- important is that meron kang pangahawakan. Parang kung doon at doon yeah. ka babalik para para dumaretso ka pa rin sa goal mo. Sige yes. talaga yung talagang gawin nila students din talaga na before sila mag uh, miss a journey nila sa study in Japan, talagang meron talaga silang dala na talagang pangahawakan nila. That's right. Yes. And my strong support system, yung family. Malaking yes. factor na yes. your family yes. is behind you, supporting you all the way. Na nakakausap mm-hmm. mo, minomotivate ka nila. Or kung may special someone, bonus na lang yun, di ba? To motivate you as well. <laughs> And uh, syempre, uh, marami pang pagdadaanan din. Kung halimbawa talaga mag-enroll yes. na for the program. Yung mga na-mention naman ni Miss KM, ilan lang? Siguro ilang percentage lang yun. Yes. Wala yes. pa sa kalahati siguro nung mga naging challenges or the pagdaanan niya for ilang years sa Japan but we are very happy to to hear your your stories your experiences Miss KM and even me na surprise rin ako na sa mga details sa mga information but syempre mm-hmm. since we already tackled mga seryoso tayo kanina no so maybe we can do something <laughs> Like may yes. medyo light naman oh. activity na para yeah. medyo may malaman din na interesting facts yung ating mga viewers yes. about Japan na masishare natin sa isa't isa din. So ano yan, Ate Mix? Yes. I'm excited. Yes, yung fun activity, yes. <laughs> activity <laughs> na is called is Aru-Aru Game. Aru-Aru. Aru, yes, but Aru-Aru Game means it exists. 
Yes, baka si Aru is to exist in Nihon ko. It exists for non-living things siya, yung Aru. So sa mga Japanese kasi napapansin ko din na kapag nagkakwentuhan din talaga sila and kapag nakaka-relate sila, sinasabi nila like, Arimas, ne? Parang Arimas, parang Aru-Aru, gumagano'n sila. Kaya, I think, yun, yun yung naging, ayun yun yung naging uh, origin ng game natin. Na, so, mag-ibigay Aru-Aru. kami. Aru-Aru. Yes, Aru-Aru. Something Aru-Aru na makaka-relate or parang magkaroon ng glimpse din yung mga viewers natin about Japan. Okay. Mm. Ngayon tayo mag-start. I'm excited. Of course. Okay. Kung sino mag-start? <laughs> Miss KM. Miss KM. <laughs> okay, Miss KM. Miss KM. Uh, Alright. So, um, I'll just give an interesting fact. Okay. Right? Okay, so dito sa Japan sa mga bathrooms, unlimited tissue. So you don't have to bring your own tissue. <laughs> Ang saya. <laughs> Ang saya. <laughs> Yun yung goal na. Yun yung goal. Ayaw nating nawawala ng tissue. Alam natin. Yes. <laughs> tissue. And <laughs> <ang> sabi, <laughs> the tissues, ano sila? Yes. Soluble. So yes. after, pwede mo sila ah, yes, yes. i-flush. Mm-hmm. So, which is of course normally hindi natin nagagawa yes. dito sa Philippines. Yes. So, talaga important 'yan for us. Na talaga pretty issue talaga. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so good. Okay. Siguro ako naman yung next. Actually, uh, marami na mga interesting facts about Japan. Pero talaga ang unang po pasok sa isip ko, food talaga. Like wow. uh I, I think for let's say me kasi hindi naman ako naging student pa, but me as a tourist before, like uh Talagang that's one thing na nilo-look forward ko eh. Like, pag oh. mag-visit ako sa Japan. Even here in the Philippines, there are a lot of Japanese restaurants here. And syempre, we can somehow try naman. But iba pag sa Japan eh. I mean, they are very meticulous when it comes to their that's food. True. The measurement, the ingredients, the quality. So, alam yung yeah. lasa, talagang, oh, parang heaven talaga. Whenever na you try a dish, authentic Japanese food, talagang how it feels like. Ano talaga. And what you see is what you get. Like, if you're gonna mm. check the picture, yes. kung ano yun nasa picture, That's yun right. yung dadating sa'yo. So, yes. man, ah. yun nangyayari talaga yung expectation versus reality talagang totoo sa Japan. No? So, and, and yung, yung, yung quantity, yes. like, kung ano yung dami, kung ano yung quality, na re-reach talaga siya. So, that's one thing na I think lahat ng turista nilolook forward. And even the students, that's, uh, right. I think that's, that's right. one thing yeah. na nilolook forward. So, talagang, Food. <laughs> Which um, Japanese food, Miss <laughs> Bernadette? Well, actually, I'm into ramen talaga. Comfort food ko talaga ang ramen. Talagang, mm-hmm. I, when, when I visited Japan and I met my brother there, uh, because my brother is also in Japan, he brought me to, parang, I think, nasa top 10 na parang ramen na sa Japan. The best ramen in Japan. I, I forgot lang is where. Is that Ichiran? I, I forgot the name, but I think so. But I think Red. so. But, yeah, so when I tasted the ramen, oh my god, it was really, oh, I, I cannot forget the taste. So, sobrang sarap. Like, like super <laughs> different. <laughs> super different. Not to the point that you want to eat it every day. Na. So, yun, sobrang sarap. And even sa convenience store, talagang legit yung mga food. Like, kahit convenience store lang, you can yes. eat burgers, pasta, sa, sa convenience store. Na solid din, solid din talaga. Yes. Ikaw, Miss Kaya, what's your favorite Japanese food? Definitely sushi. Sushi ro. I see. Sushi ro. Yes, po ako. I, I go to sushi ro occasionally po. Oh, I see. How about you, Ate Mix? What's your favorite Japanese food? Ako po kasi nagstay ako for a period of time sa Osaka. Kaya ang favorite ko talaga ni si, ano, um, gyoza. Gyoza. Gyoza na kiyaki. Ako yaki. Iba, <laughs> yeah, iba yung last iba talaga. Ibang-iba doon. <laughs> iba doon. <laughs> I see. Yes. So hopefully, makakain pa tayo ng maraming Japanese food. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, speaking of, so Ate Mix, ano yung uh, interesting fact that you can share with us? Ako yung lagi ko din parang interesting sa akin is that yung small, parang small stuff siya but actually makes sense sa Japan. For example, yung bubble gum nila may kasama mm-hmm. siyang mga memo parang maliit na papers sa loob mm-hmm. kasi noong unang nakabumili ako noon sabi ko ano yung paper dito akala ko nagkamali <laughs> o may nakalagay may naglagay ng parang maliit na parang sticky note sa loob tapos yung pala yung after mong um, i-consume yung ano yung gum doon ilalagay pala para tapos pag tinapon mo nga naman hindi siya magsistick 
Yeah. Diba parang, oh nga, namin ko parang napakaliit na mag- Pero so, nag-make sense din talaga siya. At saka yung, ano, kunwari yung mga advertisements nila. Yung sa streets, siya namimigay ng tissue. Kasi siya yes. lahat kailangan Actually. ng tissue. So, kumbaga ako magbibigay. Kukunin yes. <laughs> yes. ko, kukunin ko si kailangan mo yung tissue eh. Ang dami ng brochure na lang yung nandoon sa loob. Kang galing. <laughs> ang dami, ang dami ko rin na uyat. Ano? Uh, di ba? Hindi ka lang sa amin. Yes. Makakaipod ka. <laughs> so, yeah. How about you, Miss KM? Another interesting fact? Another interesting fact uh, would be um tala. Um for um summer is watermelon season fall is a sweet potato season oh, yeah some summer um starbucks offerings were like uh, melons watermelons and now mga sweet mm-hmm. potato flavored drinks na oh syempre nag nag adjust rin depende sa season yes. <laughs> sarap Okay, yes. ako naman siguro, uh, well, I think, alam na to ng karamihan, but vending machines are everywhere, everywhere, like yes. literally yes. everywhere, parang kada kanto meron, and lahat, lahat na ata ng products or items, parang makikita mo na sa vending machines sa Japan, and I, if I'm not mistaken, there are millions of vending machines in Japan, like I think about 5 million, so alam mo yun, it's nice na parang, Everywhere, if you want to buy a drink, okay, I'll find a vending machine, or minsan soup, or minsan food. So, alam mo yun, it's nice na talagang they are literally everywhere. Para, rin, para na rin silang convenience store. Yes. <laughs> alam mo yes. yun, nag-show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oo, parang paglingon mo sa kanan, okay, may vending machine. Paglingon mo sa kaliwa, paglakad mo lang konti, meron. So, ay, ay, yun yung, I, I think, one thing na cute din sa Japan. So, yes. yes. How about you, Timix? Ako po yung sa ano, yung convenience store mm-hmm. din, tungkol sa convenience store, na convenient talaga. Parang yeah, lahat na doon, hindi lang siya, hindi lang siya <laughs> food, okay mga kusubos. Yes, pati ATM meron, may mm-hmm. copy machine, kung gusto mo mag-print ng bromide, ng mga pictures ng mga artist, meron din. Mm-hmm. Pati mga ticket, magazines, mm-hmm. etc. Mm-hmm. Yes. Pagbabayad na ticket, yes po, pwede lahat talaga. Ang ganda yung galing nung sa convenience store nila. That's true. Yes. Right. yes. Oh, good. Punta na tayo ulit ng Japan. <laughs> sa mga viewers natin, punta na kayo ng Japan. <laughs> yes, go na. So, okay, for the last interesting fact, uh, Ms. KM, ano pa yung masyashare? Nabanggit ninyo yung vending machine kanina. So, <laughs> there are a lot of um, cigarette vending machines, pero <laughs> they will be requiring an ID. Yeah. Tak <laughs> mga ID yes. bago ka makabili. Mm-hmm. So, so bawal pag minor. Um ang ano dito is smoking and drinking age dito is 20. 20. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, which is nice, no? Kasi mas ma-avoid yung mga minors to to smoke, mm-hmm. 'di ba? It's required yung ID before you can purchase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I see. Ako naman siguro sa people, Japanese people, I mean, well, common na rin to, alam na rin ng marami, but, you know, when I visited Japan, because I cannot, well, I don't understand Japanese language, I cannot even speak. So, it's really hard for me during that time to, to buy something because parang nawala yung cord ata or yung charger ko sa camera. So, uh, and I wasn't able to borrow dun sa hotel. Tapos now, I want to. I wanted to buy, so I, I check a convenience store, and it's really hard for me. Like I don't know how to to say now. Okay, I want to buy a cord, so I just like somehow like sign language lang ako. Then I showed my camera, and then I said like, saksak, 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 and then maybe na intin bihan nung siguro at uh, nandun sa convenience store, and then. They brought me sa parang section na you can see chargers, um, cords. So I was like, oh my god, they, napaka helpful nila. And they were very like, I mean, they were they are going to uh, parang do their best to help you. Even That's them, true. they can speak English then well. So parang okay, kahit ako nag struggling ako during that time, they really, I mean, they are really like 
willing to help you. Um, kahit sa directions, if you don't know how to go there or um, medyo nako-confuse ka sa, sa pag-order din sa restaurants, I mean, they will try to to help you as much as they can. So, that's one thing that I, I admire about Japanese people na kahit may language barrier, may problem sa language. Kasi pareho kami hindi namin alam paano i-communicate. But, you know, na nakabili ako because uh, someone helped me. I mean, um, na tulungan ako. So that's one thing that I really admire. I mean, the people. That's why hindi mahirap silang pakis- pakisamahan kahit magkaiba ng lingwa. Yes. So, actually, yeah. Miss Bernadette, if I may add mm-hmm. on to your statement, um, yes. that's actually called omotenashi in Japanese. Mm-hmm. So meaning that's the yes. Japanese um, customer service, the top yes. notch. Mm-hmm. The service that we know of, yes. talagang they bow, they use yes. business um, Japanese, not your ordinary yes. um, Japanese um, sentences that you hear from dramas, talagang ibang level. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's like the top notch. It's called omotenashi. Yes, and that is something that I really admire so Japanese people ever since, no? Um, the way they uh, mm-hmm. parang Um, treat their customers That's talagang right. beyond the expectations no so talaga nakakatuwa and parang yes. feeling mo ah oh, uh, parang ano nabebaby ka ino <laughs> okay. <laughs> parang nakakatuwa parang oh, nakakatuwa kasi like in different establishments as well like they will like uh be polite and they are like friendly mm. they will approach you so it's really nice to experience yung ano so mm-hmm. anyway How about you, Ate Geeks? Meron ka pa bang last na interesting fact na masishare? Yes. Sa akin, about sa people din siguro, yung preservation nila sa history. Kasi yes. pag andun ka talaga, ako, ako kasi mahilig ako sa history talaga. Nagbabasa din ako before sa Japan. Kaya bukukuta ako sa mga um, locations na parang kung saan nangyari yung, mga, yung historical event mm-hmm. na bukukuta ako. Oh, And then, may mga tour minsan. Opo, may mga tour doon. Yung mga senior citizens nila yung mga nagtutour tungkol sa ganito. Kung nga, kay Sinseng Gumi, mga ganyan. Nag-aano sila nagtutour. Tapos, yung preservation talaga ang doon. Kung baga, pati yung, kung baga, yung mga furniture, kunwari, nung time, nung kunwari, parang mga pakamatsu era pa talaga. Na talaga ang doon pa na preserve Pati yung mga sword wounds, nakikita mo pa siya. So, parang ang ganda lang. Sabi ko, parang ang ganda kung ganda din sa Philippines yung pag-preserve yeah. history. Kasi yung mga bakabataan, kasi nakikita ko doon, kasabay ko din mga, mga halos kaedad ko din, na talaga mga bata yung mga local tourist din. Nung mga talaga historical places nila. So, ang ganda lang ng pagka-preserve. Kasi na, nare-retain nila yung identity nila. na yes. kahit super advanced nila, andun pa rin yung identity talaga nila. So, I think ayun yung isa sa gusto ko talaga sa Japan. Yes. yes. Mix kasi sa Japan eh, modern at the same yes. time. Yung, yung mm-hmm. old Japan, yung culture, yes. they were able to preserve. So, even up to this day, talagang nakikita pa rin, nararamdaman. So, I, I think you yung na-mention mo, Timix, na that's one thing na sana then you're in the mm-hmm. Philippines. Kasi, yes. most so, especially sa mga, ano ba ngayon, Gen Z na ba? <laughs> yung generation. <laughs> So, mga Gen Z, you know, parang medyo somehow nakakalimutan na um, mm. yung mga traditions and cultures natin ng na, mga Filipinos. So, hopefully, ma-maintain ma- natin, ma-preserve. So, mm. yun. Nakakatuwa to share, no? Actually, there are yeah. a lot of interesting facts pa about Japan, fan facts about Japan. And nakakatuwa to to share it mm. uh, with uh, someone. Uh, I mean, naririnig mo rin na, ah, yun pala yun. <laughs> okay, sige. Okay. Okay. And for sure, Uh, na-enjoy rin ng mga viewers and listeners natin. By the way, may gusto pa po ba kayong i-add at mix at Miss KM? Miss KM, meron ako ba? <laughs> Ayo. Okay. So, uh, um, well, to wrap this off, um, I would say that um, of course, bukod pa sa having a purpose, um, all of the things na um, ni-wrap up ni Miss, um, sinummarize ni Miss, um, Miss Bernadette kanina, um, I ha- I would like to encourage a lot of our viewers as well, especially those people who are interested in signing up for the program. Is um, ha- have to have faith in really be locked in sa project na ito, because it's really a long-term thing. And I assure you that when God guides, God provides. So don't worry about. I'm not saying don't worry about it 100%, pero, you know, just enjoy the journey rather than 
being so worrisome of a lot of things, but you know, mm-hmm. try to enjoy what Japan has to offer. Pag nandito ka na, so siguro yun yung assurance na ibi ma mas share ko sa inyo as someone na who's been here for five years and a graduate of Aoyama. Mm-hmm. Yes, important yun. Nag-enjoy ka and happy tayo sa ginagawa natin. Happy yes. definitely. Yes. Okay. So anyway, oh my God, I, I, I it feels like parang pwede tayong mag-usap one day. But of course, <laughs> medyo <laughs> limited lang yung time natin. <laughs> um, Miss Bernadette, um, yes. I would like also to plug my, uh, my ah, channel. Yes. So, yes. I have so, yes. channel. So please follow me at Clever Kyrie. I feature a lot of interesting things about Japan. So yeah, just uh, follow and subscribe. <laughs> When did you start po your YouTube channel? <laughs> Actually, just last month. <laughs> ah, last month lang. <laughs> so But fresh. I have a lot of videos But... already. Yeah, I'm <laughs> a big K-pop fan, and um, K-pop is very big here in Japan. So I've got some promotions, especially mm-hmm. Japan promotions. So I document it basically. So a lot of interesting things. So yung mga de pa pinag-usapan natin interesting facts. Mas marami pa don ang makikita niyo. Okay. Ah. Yes. So just basically okay. shorts and all. So ayon, mm-hmm. mga short, interesting stuff about Japan that on a daily basis. Yes. Okay. So yon, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, Miss KM's uh, YouTube channel, no? So para yes. mas matamik kayo malaman at mapanood ng videos yes. then about Japan. Okay. Yeah. So for sure. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> again, thank you so much, Miss KM, for the time oh, that you spent with us this. Yeah. Uh, buti na lang may off ko kayo today. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, Ayun nga eh, parang as much as we want to talk to you, like like for the whole day, but of course, medyo limited lang din yung time natin. But definitely, this is not the last time we're gonna talk to not you again. Not the last time. And, yes. and I hope that you'll say yes again. Uh, of course. Uh, invitation ni Jeffish. Yes, so Ate Mix. Yes, Miss KM. Thank you po. I, I'm sure yung mga students natin, mga aspiring students natin, kumbaga parang nakita din nila yung current kung nasan sila ngayon doon sa mga kinuwento din ni Miss KM. And parang kumbaga na-visualize na rin nila, nagkaroon sila ng parang idea kung paano yung magiging, um, yung magiging experience nila. Kaya I think mag- talagang sobrang laking tulong nito sa mga as- aspirant students natin. Kaya thank you, Miss yes, KM, for no your time problem. and your knowledge. <laughs> Oh, yes, even us. Thank you. The educator. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I see. <laughs> And it's nice to hear um, students' um, experiences. Because personally, um, hindi na kami like nakakasama sa journey once nasa Japan. Na. It's yes. nice to hear na, oh, ganito palit mo na na-experience mo and now you're doing well in Japan. So it's really something na, okay, nakaka-happy on our part. So That's thank you so much again, Miss yeah. Kay. Oh, no problem. Thank you! And sana dumami pang thank subscribers you. natin. Sa yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. lang na-upload ng maraming videos. Yeah, yeah thank you so much, Miss Kay. Yes, thank and kindly promote our Our programs. Yes, I'm currently we're accepting students. Kung gusto niyo pa maging katulad ni Miss KM, yam po. We're, we're still accepting students for April and July, pati October. Kaya po, um, if you're interested, um, please send us a message sa Facebook page namin. Yes, follow our <laughs> social media accounts, <laughs> um, Facebook page, uh, Instagram, YouTube channel, TikTok account, ayan. So you can visit uh, even our website. No, you can also yes. check. No? Um, you can check the details and inquire. Uh, feel free to ask us questions. So definitely, we'll answer your yes. questions. And if you want to have a further assessment, then our consultant will contact you if you give your details. So hopefully, some of viewers and listeners natin uh, mag-inquire ka kayo, mag-enroll kayo, and malay natin, maging isa sa mga students kayo na ating study in Japan program. So, I hope you learned a lot this afternoon. Yes. And marami tayong nakuha ang information, I mean, um, importanting information that you can use uh, for your future applications. Tama, Timix? Yes po. And also, promote din natin, Miss uh, Miss Bernadette, yung online mm-hmm. yung class natin. So, meron tayong yung N5 and N4 classes. So, yung start na lang po, um, ibibigay na lang namin yung details upon sa assessment na lang din po. Yes, para doon naman sa mga gustong matutunan so, yung language. Yes. But dito muna sa Philippines. Muna. 
Yes. So, meron din tayong mga online classes and Fiverr and four na pwede kayong mamili no? at pwede rin kayong mag-enroll. So, yes. yeah. Marami tayong mga programs. You just need to yes. inquire and we will give you the important information yeah. that you need to know. So, yeah. And uh, thank you, thank you, ano, uh, mm-hmm. uh, some of viewers natin. And again, thank you so much, Miss K. And so, yeah. so next, Hi, next um episode natin. Ano yung next topic natin? Happy meets. Shampre, meron tayong next olet na podcast, and hopefully, yes, meron olet tayong new student na may invite uh, for the Opo. discussion. Actually, sa topic natin, ano pa muna siya? Secret pa muna siya. Secret so, para pa. Para abangan. Okay. Opo, abangan. <laughs> <laughs> abangan oh, so, pa natin. So, i-reveal na lang natin. Para meron. I-reveal na lang natin yan. Opo. Okay. Secret pa. Kaya pa follow pa. our page para makita nila. Opo. <laughs> okay. Secret pa. Secret. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, since secret pa yung topic natin, abang-abang na lang po. So, definitely, post natin yes. at Facebook page. And itong video na to will be posted soon sa ating YouTube channel. So, kindly wait lang din. And uh, again, thank you so much, Miss KM. I hope you had fun sa ating short conversation. I had fun. Yes, and sana this is not the thank last you. time. Huwag po kayo madadala. <laughs> Yes, this is uh, hopefully this is not the last time. And uh, syempre, we want uh, na maging uh, happy and successful po kayo sa Japan din. And sa journey po ninyo sa Japan. So looking forward pa for more opportunities and blessings for you, Miss KM. So thank you so much again for the trust that you gave to Jellyfish Philippines. And always uh, take care of your health. And uh, lagi po kayo magpapakahilap po. Yes, well, likewise. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Rin. Thank you. Thank you so much. All our viewers. Yes. Thank you so much. And enjoy the rest thank of the you. afternoon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes.